Hey friends, in this video, I'll show you Realme Pi I. It is a budget category phone in India, which is the latest, I think. I think this is the first phone in from Realme in January, yeah, in 2020. It has a yellow color box packing, which I am peeling off. So let's peel. Cut, cut, cut. It has a sticker which has to be cut off. Which I cut already. So now I am just opening the box. It has hard cardboard box. It has an information palette which says hello to the Realme family. Okay, welcome to the Realme family. So I am a Realme family member. It also has a huge instruction manual, but it's not designed as an Apple product or OnePlus. It has a documentation, and if it open, we'll have the SIM card slot limit. So finally comes our phone. Let's keep it aside. This is a protector. The charger is of 10 watts, which takes, I think, which is good as compared to the iPhone 11. It only has 5 watt charge. This has a long cable also. So finally comes our phone. Let's take it out of the plastic. Plastic is very hard to remove, I think, because when I was removing, I was facing difficulty. Oh my god, 4 cameras, fingerprint scanner, and its back texture is so good. Its back quality is so standard. As we open it, it shows Realme powered by Android. Realme intro logo reveal comes there. As always, in every phone it comes. Now let's go to the setup. Setup, I think everybody knows. Still, I'll show you how to set. I selected a language so now let's get started I'm setting up Wi-Fi and I'm going to all the process now it's checking for some updates it It's asking me for the password or email ID. I don't have it right now, so I'm not doing it. This phone has a very, very large skip chin as compared to OnePlus 60. OnePlus 60's chin is as half as this. So now let's keep a key to open it. It's asking me to retype the key. So I typed it one more time. Now it's asking me the uh, facial unlock. So now I'm adding up a fingerprint. We'll check it later how fast is that. Fingerprint scanner works fine in this phone I think. As a the texture. So now it's checking software update. I want to set it at new phone. So it has an application known as App Market which installs all the apps which are needed for you. As well as social as well as productive. So now here is our phone with some interface. With some appealing interface this phone comes. This phone is powered by an LCD which has 720 by 1600 pixel. It has an IPS LCD display. So if we scroll down, we get to see the app search. I'm allowing everything. So let's check the quick setting. It has many modes as all phones, but it is slightly randomly kept. The chin is irritating, I think. 
it's too big it has very very thin bezels from up and right left sides but from down it's very big this is very disappointing so this is the home base this is the back and back feels absolutely awesome there's no back like this one even if you buy oneplus 70 pro max then you can't get this type of back but i like the back very much This phone features as a display of 6.52 inch which is large, very large, of 720 to 1600 pixels, it's an IC, IPS LCD display, it has Qualcomm Snapdragon 665 which is fast for a budget category phone, it has 8 megapixel front camera, means a selfie camera, it has 4 rear cameras. I think this is the cheapest phone with 4 rear cameras, quad cameras, like some phones which are expensive. So they are 12 megapixel, 8 megapixel, 2 megapixel, and 2 megapixel. It's good, very good. Then we are, we get a RAM of 4 G gigabytes and 64 gigs of storage. Uh, we can get Android 9, Realme. Um, real color OS 6 and in some days it will be available with the realme UI and it has a massive battery of 5000 mAh this phone is heavy very very heavy 195.00 grams if you put a case at the back it will be 250 grams so it is very heavy as compared to other phones in this category as it has a 5000 mAh battery i think that makes it so much heavy which it should not be so now i'll give you a review about my phone realme 5i so it is a good phone if we buy five or six geo phones we can get this one phone it means it's expensive than geo phone but it's good but and face unlock doesn't work very fast fingerprint sensor is very good then um, interface is good you can change it as per your desires and it's um i the thing which i didn't like in this was its weight uh, was this um, interface at some points and many more things I didn't like. The biggest disappointing thing in this phone was its chin. It was very very large. It was twice as the chin as OnePlus 6 or OnePlus 7 So and Oppo. So these two brands are from Oppo that I am comparing them together. And it is good then if you have money in your hand more than 10,000 rupees then you should go for some phone from redmi note or you can be in on this phone so this is good not very very good not as per my expectations i thought that this phone will be having very small chin as of the flagship phones and it would have a very good screen this phone has ips lcd with water drop notch and screen to body ratio is 89% the pixel density is 270 pixels per inch and screen protection is Gorilla Glass V5 V3 my recommendation is that you can go for this phone as well as a phone from redmi which is um, probably the note 8 or note 8 plus as it has 48 megapixel camera and note 8 pro has or plus has um, 64 megapixel camera which i think is the most in the market so you should go for that by saving some money just go for that phone instead of this phone this phone has very slow face unlock thank you this is also a very 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 affordable phone in a range of 
10,000. If you have very less phone, then you should probably go for this phone only, as this is the best phone in this day. Okay, thank you. Bye bye. Hello, hello, A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y and Z. Now you know I A B.